All right, we are continuing our First Americans packet here and the First Americans unit. You have watched Mr. Wagner tell you all about culture and oral history and prehistory and a variety of different theories that deal with how the First Americans came here to North America. And so let's continue on and talk about what, how those First Americans lived their lives. If you hear any kind of racket, in the background, it's my study hall who is here. Um, if you are in my study hall, listen closely. You'll probably be on this video. So uh, pay attention. Get your notes out. Open up to page number five, I believe it is, and take your notes. Now, the first Americans were a hardy group of people. They depended on hunting and gathering for food and clothing. And, sh and um, so they hunted whatever was around them, whatever was in their environment. Um, that included mammoths. There's the message. It included um, uh, bison, deer, bear, anything that they could get their spears on and then their hands on. And they gathered in the forest they would, or wherever food was available to gather from. They could not farm. That's very important to think about because you and I, we know what farming is all about and we depend on farming for our food. Now, these people could not. They did not know how to farm. They didn't know that if you put a seed in the ground, it would grow, and you could pick the uh, resulting fruit from it. These people were very primitive. As Mr. Wagner said last time, these people lived during the Stone Age. Their technology was basically stone, bone, and wood. That's where number three says tools and weapons were made from stone, bone, and wood. And their life was very difficult. They died in their early 30s. They uh, fought with enemy tribes. They fought off wild beasts. They were hunting, gathering, so their food was not regular. They uh, was not, they didn't knock it off. They were hunting and gathering, and you know what? That's not a reliable way to get your food every day. Uh, so these people also, as we said before, they followed the herds of animals as they crossed the land bridge into North America. So the first Americans, they were rough. They had difficult lives, and they were, they were very short lives as well. Here's a list of some of the animals that they hunted. They hunted woolly mammoth. They hunted bear. They hunted deer. And when those large that large game wasn't available, they took whatever they could find. Uh, rodents, raccoon, squirrels, anything that was small enough to eat that they could catch. Now, about 7,000 B.C., that's around 9,000 years ago, humans in Central America learned how to farm. Throughout the world, this ability to farm it popped up about the same time, within a few thousand years, but it popped up in all different places around the world, in Africa, in the Middle East, Central America, and all around the equator. And that is probably, people think, because they have longer growing seasons, uh, more opportunities to try new things when it comes to farming and uh, raising crops, and just better weather, and that allowed them to be more successful with farming. So around 7,000 B.C., humans in Central America learned to farm. At first, they grew corn, beans, and squash. You probably have heard that. Those are called the three sisters. They grow together quite well, as you can see in this image over here. You have the corn that allows the beans to grow up it, and then the beans and the corn leaves cover the squash and protect the squash. Over time, other humans in the Americas learned how to farm, and it's not like they all went to school for it, but the ideas of farming, the different techniques were transmitted orally or by showing people how to do it. They were transmitted between all different cultures and different groups. Now this farming, the ability to farm, allowed civilizations to emerge. Civilizations are, are where there's a large group of people organized into uh, cities, there are all different kinds of organizations inside of a civilization. There's a centralized religion. There'd be a centralized government. Um, and we'll talk about civilization, civilizations shortly. The first civilizations were in Central and South America. 
And those uh, groups are the Olmecs, the Mayans, the Aztec, and the Inca. And we're going to study the Aztec and Inca in our next unit. And here's a map of different Native American groups. Remember, keep in mind that all of these people came from the same group of Native America, the same group of Asians, that is, the same group of the first Americans that crossed, crossed the Bering Strait, crossed on Beringia, walked down between glaciers, and settled in North and South America. There were hundreds of groups of Native Americans all throughout North and South America, and by the time Columbus arrived here in the Caribbean, these groups were quite established. They had their own religions. They grew crops. They hunted buffalo out in the Great Plains. They were very successful. Now here's another image of possible migration routes. Here is the land bridge, Beringia, and Native Americans would have come down through here, through these different channels in the glaciers and then spread out throughout North and South America. Again, another image that you've seen, it's probably on the front of your packet, where all these people spread out. Remember, they came from Asia, they walked across Beringia, and then spread through North and South America. <laughs>